Hello, welcome back. Last time I took a crack at Dungeon 9 and learned of some of the problems that exist there in that dungeon and what I'm gonna have to do to deal with them. So, uh, I noted one very important omission I made in my exploration that I want to check right now. So this time on the screen, that thing did spawn with a poof instead of just appearing right away. Uh, having to re-record for various reasons here. <laughs> Things are complicated today. Uh, I think I just discovered another little oddity in this game. Let me try something here. So check this out. I go here. I get ferried. While Fairy is still refilling my health, it seems like there's a lot of bugs in the game related to this. I'm gonna retry. Music is still going. I'm back on this screen. I press start. And check it out, my life's still filling. So like that state sticks around in memory and uh, <laughs> yeah, it just keeps on, keeps on going even if I retry. I wonder if I could switch save files and have that uh, happen. I would have to create a second save file that had more than three hearts in order to figure that out. Uh, but I'll try at some point. <laughs> Every single session I have with this, I learn something new about this game, which is wild, given that's not the road that I wanted. Given how much I thought I knew about it, but apparently far from everything. Yeah, so speaking of things I don't know, uh, I don't have any great ideas for reaching that seemingly unreachable stairway yet, but I do know one very specific room edge that may be bombable that I didn't try bombing. Speaking of bombs, I should buy more on my way in since I am below my maximum by more than four. Out of my way. Yeah, so there's one particular wall I want to bomb, and I have some other ideas about things to try if that doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, so, um... I am at a little bit of an impasse, but I think I know some good things to try to get over it. So let's see, I can go either of these ways, I guess I'll go that way, doesn't matter much. Still thinking about that fairy glitch and various things that I might be able to do with it. I mean, all it does is refill my health, which is a relatively cheap action to perform, so it's not that important, but it's interesting. This reveals some things about how this game is put together. Because, yeah, I think some things stick around in memory uh, even after, like, quitting to the, the screen. Because that's a retry. It wasn't supposed to save anything. But the, the health refilling state stayed. Anyway, so there are basically two locations of interest here. Um, okay, let's try the less far-fetched idea first. I'll get desperate afterwards and try the more far-fetched things. Uh, yeah, so somewhere here in the west. Any chance I could take you out from a distance? Of course there's a chance. But Sword Beam is a lot less effective at damaging you since... You don't get the multi-hits from the thing, but that actually worked extremely well. Whoops, I took those bombs. Okay, no, well, I took those bombs. That's fine. Do I want to be north of here at some point? How about now? Oh jeez. You stay away. This is not the right room. Is it? Probably not. Alright, I'm gonna chance it in this room. Make it safe. There. Uh, if I go this way, can I go north? Yes. Right, yeah, so through the via room. This feels right. Hearts are full now. That's nice. So right, I got one thing to try here first, then another thing to try if that fails, then if both of those things fail, I'm going to start exploring black edges of the map. Uh, and if all of those things fail, I have one more <laughs> last-ditch effort of something to try. <laughs> uh, so one of the things I wanted to try was wondering if any of these might be walk throughable. Because, like, what if the room configuration that makes walls able to walk through, be walk, walk through, overlaps with a closed door. Maybe some of those can be gone through, and as soon as that idea occurred to me, it kind of prickled something in my memory zone. Maybe it was a dream I had once of being able to walk through one of those doors. Maybe this is 
ancient knowledge coming back up of that being possible. Anyway, so that's my third resort of what to try. First resort, this room. I was convinced that I bombed the north wall, but on review, I only bombed the south wall in here. North wall has not yet had a bomb placed by it. So let's see if I can go this way. I pushed against it. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. So option one worked. Now, that's not telling me I'll, that'll lead to the red ring and the silver arrow and Ganon, but it might. At the very least, it leads to a new room full of blue robes. All right. They have a lot of health. They do a bit of damage, but other than that, they're not too bad. <laughs> other than all the ways they're nasty. All right, I'm gonna check edges first. I'll push on this. I'll bomb it, I guess. Might as well. Nothing there. Nothing there. Haven't I been in this room, though? No. Where have I been? I've been south, but that didn't go north, so don't go south. Ouch. Ooh, I took the, the heavy hit there. I do have a red medicine. Ooh, that's nice. So I neither want to go east nor south. Yeah, so this dungeon seems to be mostly about the one-way passages. Take the wrong door and you set back and have to find your way back to where you were. Black room? Hint giver? Go to the next room! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this guy still exists. Alright, I'm going to the next room by walking through the wall. I did it. As you requested. I should check what that hint said in Japanese. Seems pretty useless. Okay, so only west is of interest, but west is of much interest. Uh, my health is extremely low right now. Uh, yeah, let's just drink. It'd be a pain to get back to where I am. Everything is gray! Some of the things, at least. Yeah, so that was a very important wall to not have missed, and I did miss it. But I unmissed it on review. Alright, so that only does a... Uh, well... Okay, so touching you only does half a heart. That's good to know. Alright, so two directions to go. Let's go the way that was barred first. If nothing else, because it doesn't show up on my map the same way. Now this is barred. Okay, many bomb drops. I'll uh, quick use a bomb up here before I pick that up. Thanks for the rupees. No bombing. Okay. That's fine. I'm still missing a lot of treasures and things. Again, it's not impossible the red ring just doesn't exist. I might just have to deal with blue only. I could believe it. Maybe the red ring is in that unreachable stairway. I hope the silver arrow is not in that unreachable stairway. I mean, if I have to figure out how to get in, I have to figure out how to get in. But anyway, this is a stairway. I want to push on some walls and bomb some walls here before I go through this. I push and I go. Okay, so I don't know where that stairway goes yet. This has Lanmola in it. So I have a stairway yet to check in there in that room. Can I walk back through that wall or am I trapped here? I can walk back through the wall. Okay, great. This feels like a treasure room to me. But the important question is which treasure? Mmm, that is concerning. So it's great that I get a red ring, yes. Problem is, doesn't that mean the silver arrow is in the, uh... The impossible stairway? There's one more room that has potential for it other than that? Sorry, two more rooms. Wait a second. So I'm realizing something. I've been in the left eye. I have not been in the right eye ever. The right eye... 
has an adjacency that implies I could go through it. However, that adjacency also implies that... Hold on, is Ganon going to be accessed from a side room? I can fight him, but I can't kill him because I don't have the silver arrow. Wait, this takes... Oh... No, this changes my assessment of everything. Okay. So this is technically a two-way stairway, except just... Effectively, it's just not. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to bomb here. And I guess I better not get here without bombs or you're stuck. So, I'm trying to figure out how I could interpret, like, the presence of that stairway there as a clue. I guess just the fact that, like, the compass tells me that's where Ganon is. I got a problem, though? Like, a couple of them. Um, main one being I don't have a silver arrow. My arrow is red. And wooden. So if I go here... And go back. Do I hear Ganon roaring? I do. Silver arrow... There's exactly one place where it must be, and that is the, uh... The, um... The right eye. Okay, well, I know Ganon's there. I know he won't have the silver arrow. I mean, okay, sure, let's do this, I guess. Because, like, I'll, I'd be backtracking a whole bunch anyway, and backtracking's not a particular benefit to me here. So, room is dark, I hold up the Triforce, there's Ganon. He goes, ah, the Triforce, it's so bright! I stab around the room randomly and hope I hit him. I've heard some claim that there is a pattern to this. Okay, I stab. I stab. <laughs> he just stands, arms stiff. I stab, he stands, arms stiff. Okay, so now is when I would silver arrow him if I had one. But I don't. And without, I can't do anything, can I? He flashes, and then goes back to his pattern, and I've done no damage, right? Yeah, he's probably just gonna get me here. So I got you red again. Oh, if I walk into you in that state, you still kill me. Okay. Alright, that's fine. So, what this means is I have to reach the right eye. I have something resembling a clue to this. Uh, let's see, what's the most sensible thing to do here? I suppose go away, get ferried, come back. I'm gonna see if I can get there with, with this amount of health. Because, like, the right eye is pretty close to where I am right now. There's this room with the bats. I think I walk through this wall here to get there. Um, I'll kill you in case you have a heart. You did not. Right, traps don't follow the law, they just fire whenever they want. So this room is of some interest. Uh, let's see, so if I would... If I kill all of these... A rupee appears. And I'm encouraged to get to that rupee. Do any of these push? They don't appear to. If one of them pushed, I could maybe, like, get hurt on my candle flame and find a way to get in there. Okay, have I tried every angle of approach for that room? Why am I still alive? Because I have a red ring, that's right. So essentially, it's almost as if I started with six hearts. Okay. Uh, I've tried all the blocks in this room. Let's just check on this a little bit more. What? 
How did I, how, how did I not try this wall? Okay, so this one I didn't notice that I didn't try. Okay, well, I think I found the silver arrow. Just solving everything. All right, well, some of my more exotic ideas didn't come into play, but that's probably for the best. Uh, before I go there, let's get this rupee. Uh, because I know it's there and I want it. <laughs> that's a pretty funny way to have another exit out of this room that can't uh, lead anywhere else. Okay, so just one little review was all I needed. And to find the two edges I did not check. So, right, I had that idea of walking through closed doors. Kind of glad that's not a thing, because that's a bad idea. I had this other idea. There's this whole big room in the northeast filled with blue bubbles, preceded by a room filled with uh, other colored bubbles. Um, uh, red bubbles. And my idea at one point was, oh right, I'm here, uh, right. I'm gonna try and walk out of here because I feel like it. I could save an exit, but I don't wanna. Okay, so this goes, but not in the other direction. Okay. And this goes back to the start, I think. I had this idea that maybe in swordless state, I could like walk through some walls that I couldn't when I was in sorted state, just because there was a room full of blue bubbles that looked like it really wanted them to be an obstacle. And I couldn't imagine why else that would be. But I think it's just a layout oddity and that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, the other reason would be to make it hard to walk into walls if I had to walk through one, but uh, there were no walk throughable walls in that room, so I don't know. Anyway, one last fairy trip. And then I have everything it, I need to uh, to defeat Ganon. While I'm here, let's um, let's do something. So the old men don't change their garb based on my tunic. That's just the shopkeepers. I'm gonna look at a shopkeeper garbed in red, just for fun. Where is the nearest one of those? And I have no need to buy more medicine because, like, it's just Ganon. One blue medicine will be plenty. I think there's a shopkeeper in here, maybe? There is not. Not anymore, at least. I just haven't seen this yet, and I want to see it. My icon on the overworld map is red, yes. You're a medicine vendor. I mean, okay, sure. So let's see if I can buy blue and turn blue into red, since I've never done this. The answer is yes, I can. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, let's just uh, record her to the place I want to be. Which is here. And yeah, I still insist on finding a shop. You're not a shop, you're a level. Let's see... I guess... Hmm, I don't know what I guess. I guess I'll go to the bomb shop, that's sort of on the way. So yeah, uh, thoughts on second quest. Um, it's not over yet, but I have everything that I need to make it over. I do want to see what the ending text is, because before it said start over for a new quest something something. This was pretty cool. I, I'm thinking about future Zelda games now, and how, like, I don't think the second quest thing really returns. So there was a re-release of the Ocarina of Time for the GameCube. Here we go, red tunic. It kind of blends into your beard and stuff. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, there was a GameCube re-release of Ocarina of Time that included, I think they called it Master Quest. I don't know what the extent of that is exactly. I'm imagining in some distant future time, I work my way along all the Zelda games, get to Ocarina of Time, and try playing the Master Quest version of it. Maybe in, you know, five years. Maybe sooner, who knows. I could turn this into a dedicated Zelda slot and go through all the games. Uh, yeah, future Zelda games. Definitely want to play more here. It had to start with this one. And I had this unfinished business in the second quest that... I'm glad I've finally basically gotten done. 
okay, I need to remember how to get there. Through the bombable wall in the one spot. Yeah, still some navigation difficulty here. Uh, I have lots of thoughts on, like, all the different Zelda games, but I don't want to go too into detail in that just because, you know, I want this to be about Zelda 1. This game is is sort of a fascinating thing to... I feel like I have this, this idea in my mind of, like, what in the abstract The Legend of Zelda is, but the experience of actually playing this game is a lot more specific and just a different flavor from the, the abstract notion that I have. And I wanted to go through the motions of replaying it and see, like, the full flavor of the actual thing. And yeah, this is a wonderful game that still holds up very well today, I would say. Uh, some rough edges, some parts of it that I think could have been a lot better, like, say, the combat AI. Like, there's very little to like about the monster AI here. It just kind of wanders in a random direction and, uh, I mean... It's not like pure random, but it's mm, it's not much better than that, whatever it is. <laughs> Some fights are good. Uh, I think Gliok is interesting. I think Aquamentus is interesting. Um, Goma is a pretty good one, honestly. Yeah, so a lot of the boss fights. Wizrobes? Uh, orange Wizrobes I like. Blue ones are still a little too erratic for my tastes. But I don't know, they're interesting to fight. Dark Nuts? Mm, still move a bit too randomly. Anyway, yeah, so, the combat isn't exactly the strongest point of this game, even though it's sort of the main activity. But yeah, the exploration and discovery. I never got the full experience of that, and I never can. But I'll take what I can still get. And what I can still get is pretty good. Right, I'm going north here. Yeah, so I was kind of impressed with, like, just how few punches were pulled in the second quest. This was, uh quite a different experience from the first quest, just in terms of how much work it took to get through it. Like, every... every dungeon here was a, uh, a full-day affair. I wasn't really expecting that, but that's just how it worked out. Whereas in the first quest, I could get two done in one session and it was no problem. Sometimes have time to spare, too. Uh... But yeah, so, I, I I love that the second quest exists, I'm very happy I got through it, and I do understand why I hadn't gotten through it before. Oh, you lock me in here and force me to do this, that's my only way out. The right might also go, but I don't want to go there. If it did, it would take me somewhere I couldn't get back from and didn't want to be. Yeah, so I, I wonder... I wonder why, like, Second Quest didn't just, like, become a thing for the Zelda series. I don't know. It's... This was the first entry in the series. They were still figuring out a lot of things about what they were doing. <laughs> second entry is, like, especially experimental. There's just nothing else like it. I think Zelda 2 is a wonderful video game. Uh, it's just a little out of place in the series that it was placed in. Where am I going? North and then west, I think? Or is it the other way around? No, it's this. But yeah, that one's just the one the one activity to do, and then you're done. No extra bonus like this one. Alright, so. This is the wrong room. <laughs> Hold on. I guess I want to be south of here? Or no, no, no. It's uh, this room here. Alright, Ganon. Let's fight. For the last time, maybe. Health is not full. I wonder if sword beams can hit him. I guess if I medicined during this fight, I could find out. I'm gonna try and do it without using any of my medicine if I can, though. I wonder if there's, like, an optimal place I can stand here to, uh, to catch him most reliably. Probably. Will I know about it? No. This is the best strategy that I have.
Okay, got you again. I guess I should prepare my arrow. Ooh, you shot twice. Ouch. There we go. Alright. And I'm not going to respawn the guy this time. <laughs> Although, I'm going to try one thing. If I walk out this way, maybe I am going to respawn him if this does it. It gets dark. Then those doors open. I thought I remembered his little pile of ash staying on the ground, but I guess not. Alright. Hey Zelda, you're here. I'm gonna put out that fire with some fire. I won! Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule, once again. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Yeah, I think that text is the same. Right, my one other idea that I didn't get to try was uh, that maybe in some of those switchboard rooms, if, like, pushing blocks in different directions would maybe open uh, some of the doors when approaching from a different direction, wouldn't. I was just going to try approaching from every direction that I could. But that's, once again, making up a new mechanic that had never existed before. You are great! Link 28, you have an amazing wisdom and power! End of The Legend of Zelda 1. Okay! I think this is the first time I have ever seen this text. The game calls me great. <laughs> I have an amazing wisdom and power. <laughs> Some questionable grammar here. Alright, 28 deaths. I'm sure I could do better if I tried hard, but... I don't really care what my number is. That's fine. Hey! There's something very interesting on this screen! Look at that second last line of text. End of The Legend of Zelda 1? Was the second game already in development at the time this was written, I wonder? Or did they just know? That's very interesting! Okay, so, at the time of release, or at least the time of English release, when this text was written, they knew this was the first in a series. Alright! I press start, I'm back here. Uh, my tunic changed to green. I still have my sword. Does this just restart second quest? Well, that save file is inaccessible now. Uh, okay, so what did I learn about how to tell whether it's the second quest or not? I know what Dungeon 1 looks like now. I guess I just want to check. I mean, it has the sword there. I know the state of the world, right? What is a good way to check real quick if I'm in second quest or not? Well, look at the sword in the title screen, but I want a different confirmation. Let's look at where level 3 was. That's a good way. I think once I tried to get this game done with the, uh, the green tunic, like never taking the white or, uh, white, yeah, the white ring. <laughs> That's what it looks like, the blue or red ring, and just had a miserable time and decided that was a terrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember trying it once. Okay, yeah, so, second quest. Second quest again. So, I'm not in a third quest right now. What if I went to a third quest and played this game again? Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> 